Members of the Labour Party in Imo State has commenced a protest to INEC headquarters demanding a cancellation of Saturday, November 11th Guba election in Imo State. Recall that INEC on Sunday had announced Governor Hope Uzodima, the candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC, the winner of Saturday's governorship poll in Imo State. Video has more detail. Party, National Federation of Labour Party, we have come this afternoon on a peaceful protest to register our displeasure over the weekend in Imo State. A lot of local governments, over 40 local governments, some of the wards, they were not like elections, yet we had results. And the, the election over the weekend was mad with a lot of things. Brutality, insecurity, harassment. Labour Party agent was manhandled by an LPC agent in the person of Akolisa, who is at a general in Imo State. There were vote buy-ins. There were harassment. Places like places like um, Olu, seven wards. There were no elections yet. We had results. For so local governments, there were no elections yet to have results there. Four wards in Idato, that is around this Zogu, there were no elections yet to have results. Five wards in Okigwe, no elections we had results. And four wards in Onimu, no elections. These are the few that can just place before us yet to have results over all these places mentioned. Excessive vote buying, excessive um, number of votes. Now we had it on good authority that they are about to tamper with IREV to change the number of accreditation. But I want to tell them that it will not happen because we have evidence of what transpired in Imo State. We will not take it again. Nigeria is owned by, by all of us. Nobody owns Nigeria. Yes. They have so much, so far, in the, 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 the people of Imo State, so as to buy their consciences when it's time to vote. Please, we are here on a peaceful vote and we are calling on INEC. Please. There should be cancellations in those places where elections never took place. In fact, we are calling for a rerun, if possible, so that there will be peace in Imo State. The killings yes. are so high. Yes. 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 I need please, you are law abiding people. I want to believe that. We are calling on you people. Do the needful. Cast through those places where elections were not, were not held. Over 14, for, over 14, 14 wards for local governments. Elections were not held in some of the local governments there. Yet we had results. I'm calling for a total cancellation and for a rerun in those places where we did not have elections. Thank yes. you very much. Yes. To declare a winner. That is a question on the ground. Whether our ancestors came out from the grave to vote. Possibly. Or Possibly. whether foreigners came to vote. Possibly. Or whether uh, the spirits came to vote. That's why we are here on a very peaceful protection to register our displeasure for INEC to use his good office to assist us and survive this country in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. First, first and foremost, we have to review those, those results to know how we arrived at those numbers of voters that came from nowhere. Because number one, Imo State is not safe. A lot of people, especially in Olu, where the governor is from, they are not in their various houses. And I wonder like how us. they were able to get such numbers of votes. Please, we we'll appreciate it if you do the right thing. Because Nigeria is owned by all of us. We are not going to run away from anybody in this country. Okay. Thank you all of you for coming peacefully. Yes, it is uh, one of the more democracy. You know, peace. Without peace, there is no any other thing that will come up in the country. So what you did is a good way of demonstration in democracy. We appreciate that. And you are giving us the respect. The ladies' speech have said everything. I like the way you presented yourself and what the other person said. You are all welcome to INEC. The law. We operate by the law. INEC has no political party. We don't have a candidate. And anybody who accuses us should prove. And I'm always, we are always ready to tell you the truth. Nothing is perfect in this country, isn't it? In any world, sir. 
So if you bring your petition, put it in writing and give it, give us all what you say, so that we can review it. Thank you.